My name is Ashlyn Everett and I'm a radiation oncologist here at Alliance Cancer Care. Today I want to talk to you about what to expect when you come in for your simulation appointment. After you and your doctor have decided that you need to move forward with radiation treatment, you will be scheduled for a simulation visit. So, you're probably wondering, what is a simulation? A simulation is the process that we use to customize and prepare you for radiation treatment. That will involve having a CT scan done of your body and the treatment position that's best for your situation. So today I'm standing in our simulation room. This is a CT scanner behind me and the table where you lay for your treatment and for the simulation is in front of me. Each person will have a different setup based on what part of the body that we're treating. The goals of the simulation are twofold. One is to make sure that you're not moving while you're getting treatment which ensures that we're giving treatment to the exact position that your doctor intends. The second goal is to make sure that you're in exactly the same position every single day, again, so that we're very accurate and precise with where we're delivering your treatment. How to prepare for your simulation. If you are coming in for head and neck cancer treatment or treatment to the brain area, your doctor may ask that you have an IV placed to give contrast. In this situation, you will not want to eat or drink anything two hours before your appointment time. When you arrive, a nurse will place your IV and then you will come back into the simulation area. You will sit down with your bottom here and your head going towards our CAT scanner. There's a headrest and we will get you ready for making the mask. The mask is made of a special type of plastic material and when it's warm, it is very flexible. So the mask will be very warm as it touches your skin, but it will not burn you. As it cools off, it will start to mold and harden, and that will make sure that your head is not rotated or changing positions so that you're in exactly the right position each day for your treatment. Once ready for the mask making process, we will ask you to hang on to a ring on your hands and we will also put a ring around your feet just to remind you to remain still. Then the mask that comes out of our warmer will be very, very warm and we'll stretch it over your face. this mask is covering her face, her nose, and her chin. And it is currently molding. It's a little bit flexible. And as it cools off, it will continue to get hard to hold her in position. Once the mask is made, we will put a tape with some marks on the mask. And this will align you with lasers that are in our treatment room so that you're in the same position for treatment each day. Then we will move you up into the scanner for your CT scan to occur. The CT scan takes about a minute and you will slide in and out of the tunnel a couple of times. The bore is very large, so even patients that have slight claustrophobia will tend to do just fine. If you struggle with extreme claustrophobia, be sure to tell your doctor so that they can help you with medication to prepare for this procedure. Once you finish your CAT scan, which takes about one minute, you will be given your next appointment. This is about seven to 10 days after your simulation to allow your radiation oncologist time to customize and plan your radiation treatment specific for you. On the day of your simulation, expect the appointment to take anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes, depending on your particular situation. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to your nurse or your physician to ask them what to expect. Thanks so much.